Okay, while I got the rig set up, I'm gonna video rig. I'm gonna get into this thing. So this is uh, a couple of hot water cylinder that I found a couple of weeks back. Um, so I think yeah, we're gonna crack into this. We've kind of been putting off. Um, Yeah, it's one of those things that's sort of in the way. So first off, we'll snip the snip the cord. It can go in the bucket, and then I'll do a first little bit here, and then I'll probably go into time lapse because I'm assuming. Oh, a lot of messy, messy stuff on the side. So basically, these things go on the side of your. Oh God, look at that. You go on the side of your house and they um, heat your hot water, uh, LPG gas, heat your hot water, and um, hilariously enough, this one's newer than the one that's on our rental property. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this has obviously had a spider living in it at some point, probably this week. Um, I, yeah, I think I'm going to time lapse it because there's so much going on here. Um, it's going to be quite boring watching it live, I think. So I'll set up for time lapse and then we'll get into it. Again, we're at the point where I think some interesting stuff's going to start happening. We found the spider. His name's Colin. So we're going to let him go in a bit and in, back into nature. I'm not a fan of spiders, but I'd never kill one for no reason. He's just trying to find a home for his little ones. Um, so, yeah, this thing feels like it's about to come out. Whoa, what the hell is that? Hmm. It's very heavy. I would guess that's some kind of stainless steel heat transfer thingy, majiggy. Yeah. So that's um Probably what has happens here is the water gets fed up through here, it goes through these fins, gets heated up and then comes back out one of these. I'm assuming that's how they work. They transfer heat from one side to the other side. Those are probably stainless, realistically. There's a bunch of those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure how that would work. Makes sense, doesn't it? It goes in, gets heat, heated back out. That all looks like steel. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks very cool. Um, what have we just taken apart? We were just taking some apart. So, I was just taking this apart. These are crimped on. All the way along, it's like a car radiator where it's plastic on top of steel, and it, whoa, yeah, it's more spidey spiders in there. So, I think this is just an exhaust valve, I think, an exhaust port. I think that's all that does, and then. I'm really hoping this is what it looks like. It looks like this is a copper radiator. Um, how is it held on? It's held on with a press fit clamp. Not the looks of it. it. Feels like it wants to 
let go though. Should we just hit it with a hammer? Apologies for the noise. Sometimes you've just got to hit stuff with a hammer. <coughs> I would guess that bit's stainless and this is just pressed steel. And that, this is Colin's home. This is where he was living. <laughs> Bless him. There might be babies. Ugh. Let's not think about baby spiders. That's going in a bin. Okay, so yeah, we've got copper, copper pipes all coming in. And I'm going to just guess that this whole unit, this whole central part of the thing, I think maybe that isn't, maybe there's a rim, ring of welded on steel. But I'm pretty sure I'll hit it with a angle grinder now. I'll just cut these off. So I get better access to it. When I work out how to do an Amazon affiliate link store, these are going on it. These are brilliant. They've got copper wire trimmers, but they work great for pipe as well. I might even already have the ability to do that on the channel but I'm technologically retarded so I don't yeah I always keep a smaller pair I've got a black pair like this I always keep these in my pocket when I'm scrapping you'll always see me pull something out and cut the wire with they just work a lot better than side cutters that all the scrappers seem to have the only problem with them is they don't, you have to, sometimes you have to really open them like that. Yeah, this bigger pair does all kinds of air conditioning copper pipe. So yeah, that feels really heavy, which is always good in the scrap game. I'm pretty sure that is just a, yeah, it's got a press fit there. It's like a ring of some kind of steel and it's being brazed on or welded on. That's definitely copper though, that feels like copper the biggest chunk of second hand copper I've ever found. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with a grinder really quick. Just see where we are. Uh yeah, I think I think I'm right in saying that is just solid copper all the way through. These fins get on the back. Yeah, everything you touch. So all these pipes, even the bracket. So yeah, apart from this little ring around the outside, that is completely copper. That is amazing. That's probably, you know what, let's measure it. You see that? How's that 22 grams? Zero. How do you do zero? Yeah, to zero. And then two and a half kilos. Wow. Take off 100 grams for the, the steel that's around the outside. That's amazing. Wow. Turn up, turn a bit kilos. Sweet. Actually, I just thought. It's probably going to be number two, given what it is. But there's also this copper here, which is number two from that as well. So it's like 2.8. So yeah, nearly three, ki three kilograms. That's brilliant. Should we do American? What's American? There you go. That's an American. Six, six, just over six pound. Is that right? Six pounds, ounces, pounds, ounces. Yeah, six pounds. So it's almost two for one, isn't it? Six pound, 3.4 ounces, there you go. Full on American. Good job. Um, so yeah, that was worth doing. I'll be looking for those in the future. Okay, so there you go. That's what's inside one of these gas boiler thingies. Um, that's all steel, pretty much. Uh, all the copper here, a whole world of screws, a spider, 
This is all cast aluminium. Uh, these are our little stainless steel thingies. You, I'm pretty sure they are. You can just tell they look like that finish, like a brushed finish, you know? A uh, little uh, circuit board there with some aluminium and copper and stuff. Loads of rubbish there. Yeah. Um, brass. So the brass fittings on the bottom, uh, these are solid brass. There's a tiny little electric motor. And there's a bunch of these. I think these are solenoids. I think that's what they're called. You just see in there, they're wraps of copper around a tube and they you put electricity through them and they make stuff move. I think that's how the water goes around them. And then just a little bit of kind of junk wire. Uh, so yeah, that was well worth it. That is a lot of copper to go in there. Probably go number two with that copper pile. So yeah, very happy.